friends, we're here at the Taylor Morrison community called Fire Creek in Gotha, Florida, which is right near Windermere and Ocoee and Winter Garden. We're here looking at the Humboldt model. So come on in. This is a four bedroom, five bath model with a game room and a study. Um, it's It's got all the bells and whistles, so it's gonna be really fun to take a look around. First thing I wanted to show you is the courtyard. This is so unusual for a Central Florida home to have a private courtyard. You could have like a fountain, you could have a dining table out here. Um, it's total open air, beautiful. I'm gonna come through the nice big entrance here. So spacious, this is a beautiful space. Um, one of the things I wanted to point out is this accent wall here. This is actually wallpaper. It sort of looks like uh, paint, like a, like a paint mural, but it is actually wallpaper. But it blends in so nicely and it's abstract, so very modern looking. In here we have the great room. We have a tray ceiling with uh, a different color that draws your eye out. Um, just a nice big space, lots of light, huge windows, huge sliding glass door come into the kitchen, a ginormous island. This island has double-sided cabinets, and one of the features in here that is so popular because there's so many things you can do with it is solid surface counters. Um, this sort of mimics marble. Um, solid surface is so easy to care for. It's made of a lot of man-made materials and some natural materials, so it looks nice. Um, and it's just so easy to care for. Doesn't chip, um, it's heat resistant. Um, another thing in here, it's so cool, is this sink. This reminds me of those old, big cast iron sinks that were coated in porcelain. Um, it is just one big, giant bowl, which I have actually come to love. I actually don't like cleaning double bowl sinks. I think one big sink is nice. The drain is over here in the corner, so you can put all your your dishes and stuff in here. Uh, another thing that um, is becoming quite common right now is this um, mixed metal look. So I'm going to point over here because it's more obvious. Um, this beautiful gas range here has antique brass knobs, even antique brass in the burners. Um, but just a gorgeous look when you're kind of mixing things. So we're not doing so much matchy matchy stuff anymore, but one of the ways you can get a high end look is by choosing very nice metals that are not super shiny and then just maybe mixing two, maybe a third one. Um, but what you want to do is kind of keep your whole color pal palette very neutral and let those metals stand out, especially if you just have a little bit of brass so you don't overdo it. Um, you know, most everything here is brushed nickel. Um, so just a really nice touch to this kitchen. Do you hate dusting, but you love putting things on display? Well, that is why you have glass covered cabinets. And I love how these go all the way up to the ceiling so there's no dusting the top of your cabinetry because that is one of my pet peeves. So they have every single cabinet lined with these beautiful glass cabinets all the way to the ceiling. Another feature that is so cool is this coffee slash wet bar area. This is not a wet bar. It's just a coffee area. We can call it a wet bar, but it does have a beautiful wine refrigerator or beverage fridge. Um, you can put your coffee here. And what's so nice about this is this is kind of like a serving area for your formal dining room in here. I also wanted to point out this generous pantry with beautiful, solid, built-in shelves. You've got light in here so you can see what's going on. Plenty of space. And then we're going to go to the formal dining room. So this leads into the formal dining area, and then we also have um, the mud room that leads out to the garage. And over here we have a couple of bedrooms. So these bedrooms share a Jack and Jill bathroom. It's kind of nice how they've organized this. Each bathroom has a sink and a closet, but in the middle of them, not only do you have the toilet and the shower and tub, but you also have some really nice uh, storage in here for towels and other things. Just come in here to this, this bedroom. And this also has a doorway out to the other side of the house. Out the 
bedroom, we have another full bathroom. And this is so nice to have because it is right off the pool out here. So there's actually a nice door. You can make a beeline to the bathroom. And then here we have an extra storage closet for additional towels. You can put pool supplies in here. Very convenient. Then next to the kitchen, we have an eat-in nook. This is so nice because it's surrounded by windows. I mean, in fact, this house just feels so light and area because of the huge ceilings, the very tall windows just lets in tons of light and it just feels very spacious. Off the great room, we have the master suite. This is a gorgeous room with plenty of space for a sitting area. You have your own little private living room, uh, bed, and up here you see the tray ceiling. This is um, something that's pretty popular. It is an upgrade to do a tray ceiling. You can do two different colors to draw your eye up. And in here, it's a very huge, huge bathroom. We have a soaking tub, two vanities that are kind of spaced across from each other. That's kind of cool um, with a nice big picture window between. This is a neat feature too. You can turn your controls on for your shower without actually getting cold water sprayed on you. So you turn them on, let them get warm, and then you get in the shower. Um, you know, what, this is one thing I mentioned before, not having a door um, is very useful because it's just lower maintenance. You don't have a door with hinges to contend with or the cleaning underneath the door. It's really hard to get to. Um, then at the end of the bathroom, you have a very generous closet. Um, this actually comes all the way around to the side. They made really good use of the, the place under the stairs. Um, for just tons and tons of storage back here. Um, having a closet in a bathroom is just awesome because you get out of the shower, you don't wanna have to go back into the bedroom and walk through, maybe, maybe your partner or spouse is sleeping and you just don't wanna bother them. Um, but having this in the bathroom, being able to get dressed all in the bathroom and get ready without having to leave is really nice. Off the front entry is a whole nother wing of the house. So you have a laundry room in here. They chose kind of a fun color and I, I love choosing fun colors for laundry rooms. They just make it a little bit more happy when you're folding laundry. So down the hallway is the home office study. Um, this could be another guest room. Um, and then next to that, you have an another guest room, a bedroom. This bedroom, this could be like an in-law suite or when guests visit, visit from out of town, you have a walk-in closet and it's got its own full bathroom. One of the things they've done in this house that's so cool, they have taken these mirrors all the way up to the ceiling. I don't know if you can see, but see how high up that vanity is? That just draws your eye up. So if you have high ceilings, consider going with a really tall mirror. It just lifts the eye, makes everything feel very open and nice. This home has so many nice touches and one of the ones I love is this built-in right here, right off of the home office. So you could have a coffee station here, you could have extra drinks set up, um, whatever to make either your guests feel comfortable that are staying here or just having your own little uh, snack station during the day when you're working. This also has, this house has two garages. So this one garage could be used as a home gym. Let's take a look upstairs. At the top of the stairs, we have a bonus room, which I wanna show you is very large. Your guests or your kids or whoever is staying with you has this entire wing of the house. Um, they can camp out here on this huge loungy couch. Um, there's also room if you wanted to have a dining table or a game table up here. Lots of abundant light, lots of, you know, all the way down to the ceiling, um, all the way down from the ceiling windows. Very nice. Um, this also has a full bathroom. So again, if you have overflow of guests, they, this could be another guest room. They have a shower and everything they need up here wanted to point out something the designers did that I think is really cool. They did not take the curtain rod all the way across. I love that because 
let's be real, your curtains are there just for decoration. They're not really to cover your windows. I mean, maybe they are, but in this case, they're really not. They're just here for design. So I love that we're not trying to take this curtain rod all the way across. Um, so great idea, and it draws your eye up to the ceiling. Off the great room, we have the back patio. I just wanted to show you these doors because when you open them, it just provides such a flow from the interior of the house to the exterior. It's just so nice for entertaining when you have such a wide area. So we come out here, it's a nice covered area. We have an outdoor kitchen. A little mini fridge. Outdoor grill and a sink. That's always nice to have in your outdoor kitchen. We have a really nice pool, just a hangout pool, really. I mean, I guess you could swim laps, but I don't know. This looks like more of the pool you just like lay around and have a drink in your hand. So Taylor Morrison builds a great home. Um, this particular model is starting probably in the 1.1 million range, but you can get up way over 1.2, 1.3, depending on the options that you choose. So they've got even larger homes than this in this community. Um, there's really, there's such a high demand in Fire Creek that there's only a few lots left and there is kind of a waiting list. So if you've got an interest, you know, let us know right away. Now, Taylor Morrison does have other homes in the uh, Orlando area and throughout Central Florida, and they are one of the better builders. Um, they, right now they are offering on, on the majority of their homes, they're offering 3% back towards closing costs, rate buy down, you know, however you want to use that money. Um, but please reach out to us because there are some other incentives that we might be able to offer you. And in addition to that, working with an agent on a new home can just give you a lot more peace of mind because we're representing you. We're helping you with the whole process, walking you through from, from start to finish, helping you with the design elements, helping you choose um, you know, different finishes that you might want in the house, inspecting and, and making sure the process of construction stays on track, really staying on top of the builder. Um, so those are just a few of the things that, that we help to provide. So if you're thinking about a new home, you know, please reach out to us, give us a call, text, uh, follow us on Facebook or YouTube, and we'd love to work with you.